that element again here. Now I'm going to take you to um, a website where we will download Linux and install it on um, our virtual machine. So we'll first of all browse to Ubuntu's website. There are many different flavors of Linux out there. This just happens to be one. And I'll go to the download area. And we'll download the Ubuntu Desktop Edition. Leaving it for standard personal computer. And we'll browse to location near us. And start the download. And we'll save it to disk. This particular ISO is approximately 700 megabytes, and so as you can see here, even on a fast uh, internet connection, it's going to take a while to download. So we'll go ahead and stop here and pick up later after the file has been downloaded. Okay, our ISO image is downloaded successfully. So we'll get back into VMware server, local host. Okay, we will create a new virtual machine here, following the wizard, choosing a typical virtual machine configuration. For the guest operating system, our host operating system that I'm using is Windows XP. That's what I installed VMware Server on. Now I'm going to install a guest operating system of Ubuntu Linux. Um, so I'll select Ubuntu, click Next, and that automatically defaults and creates a subfolder into our Virtual Machines folder. We'll use Bridged Networking here. I don't need 8 gigabytes of space here, so I'm just going to create 4 gig. Remember at this point, we want to make sure that we really do have a bare minimum of uh, probably 6 gig free of disk space when we do this. Um, just because we don't want to take up all of our, our disk space in the process here. Um, so here, I'm going to create a 4 gigabyte disk. Click Finish and then it'll go through the process of creating the disk for us. Okay, the disk is about to be finished up here. At this point it's created the disk but it hasn't been um, formatted and partitioned yet either so we now have a, a virtual machine with 512 megabytes of RAM, um, a SCSI hard disk, this is all virtual, it's not real virtual CD-ROM, um, a virtual network adapter that's been bridged to our local host network adapter. Um, what I'm going to do here is change um, one thing at least. Double clicking on the CD-ROM here. Instead of using the local host CD-ROM, I'm actually going to make it boot from our ISO image. Uh, before I do that, let me copy it over into our, our directory. And this is our C Virtual Machines Ubuntu folder. And these are the files associated with our virtual machine. Uh, let me pick up that ISO. This just helps keep things organized. I'm going to drop the ISO into this subdirectory now. It's all together. Let's 
sell our virtual machine then to use this ISO image what should happen is it should boot from this ISO so it's going to pretend like we've actually got this CD in the CD drive and so now if I click start this virtual machine you should see now it's uh, going to either start or install so what we're seeing now this is what you would see if you would actually burn that ISO to a CD and then pop it in your computer and just try to boot it from CD it will give you what's called a live version of Ubuntu Linux um, good for testing it out to see what it's it's gonna look like and and how it works but it's it doesn't have what's called persistent storage it won't save anything you do anytime you um, turn off your computer and turn it back on everything you would have done in the Ubuntu Linux would have been lost so we're just going to get it booted up here and I will then show you in another video how to actually go and install Ubuntu onto our virtual machine And here we go. We now have booted into Ubuntu Linux on the live CD. Just a little bit of information about uh, the VMware server here and what we're interacting with. Um, right now, the mouse cursor is inside of the Ubuntu virtual machine. And if I try to move it outside the, the window here, it won't go. So if I want to go back to my actual host operating system and um, click on different things there, I'll use the Alt Control key sequence, press them both down and release, and that should release our mouse cursor out of the client operating system and back into the host. If I want to go back into the client operating system, I simply need to click inside of the client system and now I'm back where I can interact with it. Okay. So that's it in terms of actually downloading Ubuntu Linux on an ISO and creating a virtual machine inside of VMware server and then doing a live CD boot of the Ubuntu Linux. In a later segment, I'll take the time to actually show you how to install Ubuntu Linux right now off of the live CD into the virtual hard drive that we created.